Hello and welcome everyone to today's energy market report for the 19th of September 2018 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So today we've seen a breakout in crude oil prices. So US oil has surged over 2% today following on from today's oil inventories data which showed crude oil stockpiles falling for a fifth straight week to three and a half year lows whilst gasoline inventories also drew down today as well and that immediately helped as a catalyst for a breakout we've also seen support come in this week with the ongoing supply concerns over u.s sanctions on iran that come into effect in november which is also helping to support crude oil prices and traders and investors have continued to load up on the bullish positions particularly with brent crude oil after signals that saudi arabia is in no rush to increase production even with the price nearing 80 us dollars per barrel so with that we'll move over to the charts and we'll talk you through the levels that we're looking at next first of all moving over to wti crude oil again this is a market which we highlighted on the week ahead commodity report and very simply we've just had a continuation pattern here over the last couple of days we've actually re-entered our long position on us oil this week which has worked out really well for us particularly with the breakout that we've seen today as well what i would look at now in terms of the next major levels is 71 dollars 20 per barrel here for us oil so that is the next zone where i'm expecting crude oil to encounter some resistance and depending Depending on how oil reacts at that level, we may even look at reversing position at that zone as well and taking another opportunity to sell into a lot of resistance, providing that we do get a sell signal at that zone. So we're starting to get into that overbought territory, which would be residing between approximately $71.20 per barrel up to $72. But in the short term, I am expecting a little bit more upside here. We could certainly see the potential for a follow through candle here again on Thursday, breaking out back towards the upper Keltner channels here as well that's worked out really well for our long position here and then we'll likely start to encounter some resistance and potentially reversing position if we get confirmation on lower time frames now moving over to Brent crude oil we're now getting very close to 80 US dollars per barrel interestingly today Brent crude oil has not had the same surge as we've seen on WTI crude oil and we've actually been long on WTI crude oil that provided us with a better risk reward opportunity this week but what I would look at here again in terms of resistance is we have got quite a major level here around 80 US dollars per barrel and several failed attempts to break above that zone. Towards the end of last week, we did see oil start to roll over. Brent crude oil looked like we might be on the verge of a breakdown, but we didn't get confirmation of that. So we came back into this underlying support channel, found support there at the beginning of the week, particularly after the trade war tension started to dissipate following on from Tuesday's announcements. And with that, we've seen a complete turnaround in oil price and a break back towards the 2018 highs here but we haven't quite seen that follow through on Brent we haven't broken above all of that resistance just yet and I would be looking at the 80 US dollars per barrel level as a potential target and it might also result in an area where you could look at potential sell short positions on lower time frames so just in the short term there taking advantage really of a range bound market if we go back over to WTI crude oil for example the range at the moment is sitting approximately between 68 US dollars per barrel up to just over 71 US dollars and that makes the range really tradable and um, for me that's what I would look at trading at the moment you can very easily trade that range you've got an upward trending channel so overall the price structure is developing higher lows but it's also been good to take profit and go for short-term sell short opportunities once we get into the overbought condition at the upper Keltner channels here as well which reside just above 71 US dollars per barrel at the moment but it's certainly been a really good opportunity of late just to take advantage of the range here with oil so buying at the support zones and taking profit and reversing position at the resistance zones and this has worked out really well for day trades here on crude oil over the last few weeks here now of course if you'd like to find out more about the exact trades that we're taking at the gold and silver club and also join us on our live trading room program there is an opportunity for you to do so next week we do have a major news item that is going to be the fomc statement so next wednesday that will likely provide a really big catalyst for the commodity market so you don't want to miss that trade opportunity it usually sets up really nicely as we go into october as well so again to find out more information about the gold and silver club if you would like to join us on the private members live trading room essentially you get access to the following so you have live trade alerts these are delivered via whatsapp email and sms you have access to mentorship 
expert advice, in-depth market analysis, and trusted insights so you can know earlier how to act quicker and maximize your return on every trade opportunity. If you'd like to find out more about the service, all you need to do is go to www jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will, of course, get in touch with you ASAP. And make sure you also subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that way you'll be kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports.